the fast method. F fail, A acceptance, S strategize, T tackle. This simple four-step model has been proven everywhere in the world to be incredibly potent in achieving extraordinary feats. Allow me to illustrate through a story. Consider the year 1977. You're a young 20-year-old from the rural northern states of Kano, Nigeria. All you ever had was a dream. And as an aspiring business enthusiast who had just finished school, you were eager to succeed. You kicked off your career with a small trading firm, hoping Nigeria's variety of resources would lead you to success. But it proved to be tough as you found trouble understanding the difficult markets and making profitable deals. Disappointed, yet unrelenting, you tried again in a different genre. This time, textile. Encouraged by Nigeria's generous population, you thought you'd find success this time. And yet again, you were faced with a setback. You failed to realize the problems of imported goods, tough competition, and financial restrictions. Yet another setback. But refusing to give up, you made yet another attempt. And on this third attempt, you struck gold in the cement manufacturing industry, ultimately becoming the cornerstone of your business empire. Inspired by this success, you expanded beyond the shores of Azobia to other African countries. You spread your empire's tentacles over to the manufacturing of sugar, salt, and other necessities. You, my friend, become the net exporter, breaking every jinx and stereotypes that your country was already badly known for in importation. Over the next three decades, through determination and relentless efforts, you rose to become Africa's richest billionaire. And as of May 2022, you commissioned the world's largest petrochemical oil refining facility that solved the two-century nightmare for your country. <laughs> Mr. Madam, congratulations. You have conquered your mother's land. Indeed, this tale actually belongs to none other than Mr. Aliko Dangote, the wealthiest person in Africa and one of my role models. His story encapsulates the utilization of the fast method. Before Dangote became widely regarded as the world's richest black man, he also had to undergo a process shared by all who have reached greatness. And that experience starts with failing. Dangote failed. Even with his great-grandfather's aid in the form of a loan, even with his renowned education in the University of Al-Azhar in Cairo, Egypt, his trading business was nothing to write home about. And yet, even with this setback, he accepted his failures, strategized, and tackled the next problem. People, I have made a collection of everything that he did, every tactic he made use of in order to succeed. And with it, I am confident I can show you how to reach the pinnacle of any area you want to excel in. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my process to progress, the fast method. Let me start with failure. It is defined as a lack of success in achieving the desired or intended outcome. But I like to think of it as the pathway to success disguised as a setback. Even when Mr. Dangote found himself disappointed with how his first business had gone, his refusal to see his failure merely an insurmountable block, but to use it as a stepping stone towards greater heights was the turning point for him and the beginning of the pathway to success in his career. On that path, the next thing Mr. Dangote did was to accept his errors. On the road to achieving success, it is important and critical that we examine our plans and highlight where it is necessary for a change of direction. But this first comes from the realization and the acceptance 
of the fact that, indeed, what I'm doing right now may not be working. It is only someone, someone with the determination to do right, to realize what he has done wrong. In Nagote's story, it was obvious that after he failed, he was able to accept it and move on. After accepting his failure, the next thing Mr. Dangote did was to strategize. To progress, you must fashion a new approach. It is the data and information that we have collected from our past failures that helps us to create the roadmap setting sail towards a brighter, better destination. And this is where strategy comes in. Get ideas, seek input, reflect and retrospect in order to develop your own winning edge. In Mr. Dante's story, it was obvious. Strategy was at the center of his winning ways. And finally, tackle is my word for taking tenacious actions. Envision the process for setting this building. Strategy is synonymous with the architect to join up the building's blueprints. Whereas, tackle is likewise to the mason constructing the building physically. Or, when athletes do their designated work on their sports field venues after a well drawn out game plan. Strategy works hand in hand with tackling because only after a logical, well thought out game plan can we attack and tackle the dreams that we have with full force. Mr. Dangote got his hands dirty with his own blood, sweat, and tears. Every action he took towards greatness was deliberate and audacious, consistently approaching each goal with the same high concentration and persistence. That was the real way Mr. Dangote emerged as the world acclaimed business tycoon that he's widely recognized for today. And believe me, you can get there too. Finally, take one more moment and see yourself in five years. What achievements could you have achieved? What heights could you have attained? Where do you see yourself using your own current game plan and ideology in half a decade? Now, re-envision that future incorporating the utilization of the FAST method. In every instance, whether it be success or failure, you accept it, strategize, and tackle the next problem. Each step you take is riddled with unwavering determination and a full chest of confidence. For in the dance between success and failure lies the rhythm of progress. Set your goals high and prepare to soar. So when the naysayers and the haters come around to ask, how did you achieve these impossible possibilities? You tell them, I did it the fast way. So what are you waiting for? Let's go fast.